Hi, I'm Crone Ariane of the International Coalition of Crones. And I thank you for joining me today for Animal Medicine. Today we're joined by Cicada. And Cicada has a message for us for the week commencing 17th of August. I'm surprised every week by the relevancy of the message that various animals bring to us and cicadas no different. Um, cicadas are all about personal change, about renewal, and rebirth, transformation. They are symbolic of the changes that happen in our lives and the lessons that we can learn as we move through our lives. They're not in the least bit like moths or butterflies. They don't have a pupae stage and they don't even go into a cocoon. Uh, they emerge from their eggs as nymphs and their mother has actually placed her eggs in little holes that she drills into the branches of the tree, really high up in the tree. Those eggs hatch and little nymphs emerge and they're roughly the size and color of a grain of rice. And they walk off to the edge of the branch and take a flying leap as a leap of faith right down to the ground at the bottom of the tree. And when they hit the ground, they've got a single urge, and that is to get themselves underground as rapidly as possible. So they burrow deep under the roots of the tree and they build themselves a little chamber, uh, a safe place where they can spend the next 17 years. Sustained by the tree, 17 years, all alone in a hole, in the ground. And all those nymphs, millions of them, emerge 17 years later at exactly the same time. They have one very strong urge. They had one strong urge as nymphs to get under the ground. Now as mature creatures, they have one strong urge and that's to get high up in that tree. Once they get up there, they shed their shells, their shell casing, and then they settle in to wait for a few days for their new skin to harden and their wings to become fully functional. Many cicadas don't make it. There's deformities and they get stuck in their shell casings, but there is always millions of them left. And the males start their mating song. We've all heard that. Within three weeks, there is a massive mating frenzy. And as that dies down, the eggs are laid by the mother in little holes that she's punched in the top of the tree branches. And just six weeks after their first emergence, all the cicadas have disappeared. Their life work is done. Just their shells remain. So what does this mean for humans, for starseeds? Firstly, we're being reminded that if we recognize the need to make changes in ourself, say for example, we need to change our diet or exercise more or stop getting pulled into dramas or be more compassionate. Like Cicada, there's no need to put ourselves in a cocoon and tie ourselves up in knots in order to achieve those changes, we can just make up our mind and do it. We can do it quickly and effectively. Cicadas are also reminding us of the cycles of life and the importance of each stage of life. They're reminding us that each stage of life has its own lessons to learn, its own experiences that will shape us into the individuals that we're meant to be. It's a reminder that we who are starseed are here camouflaged as humans. And we're not yet ready to shed that camouflage and emerge fully. We still have lessons to learn. And as we know, humanity is heading into the dark night of the soul. There's going to be a lot of lessons to learn. So that makes it a very timely reminder from Cicada that spending time alone in our lockdown or by choice or whatever 
it isn't wasted time. It doesn't have to be a wasted time. It's a time of introspection, of discovery, of growth, and of the development of knowledge and strength that we'll need for the next stage. Alone time, this alone time is symbolic of the past. All that has brought us here to this point in linear time and all that we need to clear from those experiences. It's time to clear the past, to effect a transformation so that we can move towards enlightenment. When we do finally emerge from that time of learning and growth, we will be ready, we'll be able to truly live in the now and to be able to call upon our soul tribes through song and vibration as the cicada does. And it'll be in full knowledge of the true purpose of our current lifetime experience. And we will be able to fly. Thank you. I'm Crown Ariane of the International Coalition of Crowns. Thank you for joining me. Please hit our subscribe button. I go hunters out on Facebook. The links are all below. And I thank you again for joining me in this work. Gaisha Ian.